sewing friends, welcome to my sewing room. My name's Beth, if you're new, welcome. Today I'll be making some quilt blocks and I'm beginning with this beautiful piece of fabric and the nice thing about beginning with a piece of fabric that you like with all those fun colors, there are no color decisions to be made. They've all been made for you. The artist that designed the fabric put all of those beautiful colors together so all you need to do is sort of follow the pattern. So here is the fabric and as you can see it's got red, blue, uh, yellow, and green and so I pulled out some fabrics from my stash that went along with this beautiful fabric. For my quilt block today I'm going to begin by cutting the background fabric, this sort of uh, really uh, creamy white and I need some two and a half inch squares so I'm beginning there I need to make some half square triangles so for each block I need eight two and a half inch squares After I cut my two and a half inch squares, I also need some two inch squares. I need six two inch squares for each block. So I'll be cutting those from this background fabric. And then I will also need two pieces that are two inches by three and a half inches. After I had my background pieces cut, I chose four different fabrics for each of my quilt blocks. So each quilt block I'll be using four different fabrics, a little bit scrappy. I might repeat some of the fabrics, but I'll leave a link below with how many squares and pieces you will need for each quilt block with the four different colors. And it was really nice to just follow the designer's colors on the beautiful floral fabric. I just needed to choose some fabrics for my stash that sort of went along with that beautiful floral. I had all my pieces cut I laid them all out next to my sewing machine so that I could get them all sewn together it begins with the four patch in the center and then you use the strips and squares around that and after I put that center block together I then made my half square triangles did have everything laid out but I realized midway that I really needed to move a couple of those pieces around so that I could easily piece my quilt block. So this is the center of the quilt block and after I have all of these pieces together I will like I said work on those half square triangles. When I'm done with this section it should measure six and a half inches.
after I finish the center of my quilt block, now I'm going to make my half square triangles using those two and a half inch squares. And I need four of each of those two colors. And like I said, I'm just following the colors from that inspiration fabric. And to make my half square triangles, I typically draw a pencil line initially to kind of show you how I'm making it and then I will sew a seam on both sides of my pencil line. After I have done that first one though, I usually go ahead without drawing the pencil line, especially if the squares are a bit smaller, like these two and a half inch squares. After I've put a seam on both sides of the pencil line, I cut right along that line and I should have two half square triangles that are just a tiny bit bigger than I need. So I'll press them and then when I've made all of my half square triangles, I will trim them to two inches. And for this quilt block, I need 16 half square triangles, eight of each color. on my quilt block I thought these are probably colors that I would have never chosen to group together but the artist who designed the fabric this beautiful fabric put them together and I think just putting the quilt block along with that fabric will make a really pretty quilt and she did all of the work for me I don't have to choose the colors that kind of coordinate together Now that I have all of my half square triangles trimmed to two inches and ready to go, I'm going to arrange them around my smaller block here. And as you can see, some of the half square triangles have the light or the background creamy color next to the um, inside square pointing out and then next to the background cream the blue triangle, half square triangles are uh, set up against that creamy fabric. And so they're kind of going opposite directions. You kind of have to put your thinking cap on when you lay out this quilt block. Once it was all laid out, it was really easy to sew the pieces together. Everything came together really nicely. Things were trimmed exactly to two inches, so that made it easy. And when you use that quarter inch seam, things 
really do uh, line up together really nicely. block before I add the sides just to give you an idea of how those dark triangles are next to the cream background and the, um, the white triangles are next to that darker fabric. Here's the second block that I'm making and I laid out my block just a little bit different to begin with. Instead of starting with a four patch, I set my squares out in a column and then I was able to easily put those uh, rectangles next to the squares and it was just a little bit easier for my brain to um, understand how this block was going together. I worked down the center with the uh, little squares and then I added those rectangles on the sides when I was done. I'm making my half square triangles for my second block and I hope to make at least five blocks for my quilt. I don't have a lot of that inspiration fabric, that pretty floral fabric. I only have enough for um, four alternate blocks and maybe just a little bit more. So I'm kind of in process with this quilt but I'm having a lot of fun pulling these really pretty fabrics to make these quilt blocks. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time.